everybody, it's Sam of Bigstock Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this diorama card. Um, these are really fun to make. I haven't actually, don't think I've ever done a tutorial, made them before, but never showed one. So um, this one is not using anything from the um, May Hobby Base kit which the other one is, but I'm also mixing up a few other kits. So basically this one, you just take off the belly band, open it up, and inside you've got this little card with an acetate window. And this is using the Hobby Base window die that came in the January kit. So I'm just throwing in, just mixing in other bits there just to show you. Um, the paper here, ooh, <laughs> throwing it away. The paper here is from a, Oh gosh, um, it's the wood effect paper mania. I'll find any links for it if I if I can find them, but that's what I used for that one. Um, and then this is the side to put your little sentiment. And I just see it's lovely. I've made the little curtains, which are just really straightforward to do. Um, now it comes like this, so it would stand obviously like that with the belly band, but you can also fold it completely flat. So if you wanted to decorate this differently and then just pop it in an envelope to post, you can do, because that person's gonna know when they receive it. It kind of, as you open it, it forms that shape anyway. So yeah, it can be posted or it can be hand given as I would do with that one, like so. To be fair, you can even put the belly band on and lie it flat, because it still does go flat. So there you go, up to you. So for this one, and I'm using, as I said, a little bit of a mix. So this is the die that came in the January Hobby Base kit. Then I'm using the papers from this month's, the May kit, as well as the paper, the little paper flowers and the paper cuts that we got. So yeah, I just think it's nice just to show you guys other bits that you may have got and thought, oh yeah, actually I can use that. So I have gone ahead and I have colored these with a blending tool and just a red ink pad. And I've gone over them. I don't need this many, to be, in it. to be honest. I went a bit crazy. But this is what we received. We received 21 of them. And they were all white, like this. So the whole pack were just plain white. And you can add anything to them. So you can add your, any inks, any um, re-inkers. You can just drip a few drops onto, um, directly onto them. And you can see I've done the gold, which I showed in a previous tutorial. And then that was a pinky one, which I just left over. So I'll pop them to one side, but I've just gone ahead there and they've taken really well to that red. They're so vibrant and deep, it's lovely. Okay, so I have got, for the main card base, you need a piece of 11 by six and you want to score at, along the 11 inch side, you want to score at three inches three and three quarters, six and three quarters, seven and a half, and ten and a half. Okay, so you'll have this half inch um, tab on your far right hand side. So that's all of that. Then to decorate, so for the, um, the very inside of it, so I'm calling this the wallpaper, which is why I thought these papers that we got in the May kit worked really well, because they're the B&A collection. So they are original prints from um, paper or fabric um, that were in the museum. So they have got that kind of wallpaper kind of feel to them. Um, but it's the one that you can see behind here, inside there. So think of something that you want that's gonna look like that, I guess. You might have a different theme. So this is seven and seven eighths of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch. So just a little bit shorter, just so it will fit. Um, if I just bring that one around, it's actually gonna end up going in that one there, in the middle one, like so, okay? Then you want, if you're gonna have it like a house theme, which mine is, the you know, the idea is that this is the outside of like a little wooden, maybe like a little um, cabin or something like that. It's just got that kind of look to it. So you need one piece for, the front, are they the same? Yeah, they are. So one piece for the front, so ooh, here, and then one piece for inside here. And these are two and three quarters by five and three quarters. So that's those two pieces. And then you want a piece to go down the spine here and to go down the other side there. And these pieces measure at um, five eighths of an inch by five and three quarters. Okay, so two pieces of those. Um, then you need, obviously, your 
die there and we'll do all the decoration afterwards. So that's the scoring done. We'll get rid of that and grab this piece and we can just go and just burnish all of those score lines. Okay, now I know what I did forget to tell you is you also need a piece to go in there. So that will be the same measurement as this um, front one there. So just have another piece of that to go inside. So basically what's going to happen is, is this is going to fold over and it's going to stick. So if I just bring that, so this is that tab, it's going to come right the way over and it's going to be glued to the top score line of the front here. So it creates that nice box shape inside. Okay, but before we do that, we need to die cut this design here. So the easiest way to do that is first of all, what you want to do to make sure you get this all lined up. So we're going to be, just so you know where you are with everything, so that's your flap, okay, and then you've got your tab on the right hand side. The middle main one, go ahead and stick down that wallpaper piece that I call. I think it's just going to help me um, then talk you through the rest because you'll know where you are. So before I run my die through, I'll just stick this one down. in the middle there. So make sure it's the right way up and it will literally just fit in which is what you want. Okay now flip it over and this now the tab will be on the left hand side. This piece here is where we are going to die cut our little window. Grab one of your, you want to do it on this piece first, so grab that and then with a bit of um, just grab my washi tape and just stick it down. So bearing in mind I'm going to be having some of these red flowers coming along there so I want space for that and obviously it's still you know room there so I reckon I've got about half an inch from the top there that I'm leaving and then about a quarter of an inch on each side so I'm going to pop my washi tape in the middle there because I won't be keeping those bits and I don't want to risk. Um, obviously, if it's low tack, you won't take any of that off anyway. But then I'm going to run that through my little machine here because it fits in nicely so I don't have to get up and go and use my bigger one. Just run that through. Okay. Just peel that off, just pop all those bits out. So I'd already put my double sided tape on the back as well so if you do want to do that beforehand you can do and then that piece will come out like so. Now we're not actually going to keep this, This is the we're going to discard this piece, all we want with this one is just the shape because what we're going to do is we're going to die cut it again with some white card or any colour card you want, you might want to have a different colour frame but I'm going to do it again in white. The reason why we do it on this piece first is because what we can do now is pop this on here as if we were sticking it down. So make sure you've got a nice even border. But what you want to do this time is draw around the, um, keep losing my pencil, there we go. Draw around that, that inside shape. Don't worry um, if it's all rough and stuff because you're going to remove this whole piece anyway. So, um, oh no, what am I on about? That is the one I'm going to use, isn't it? That's my white. I'm not going to die cut it again, I'm going to actually use that one. So yeah, be neat with it. You can rub out the pencil or you can distress it. So now we've got that one. So now I can run my, put my die over the top and just basically line it up. Just make sure it's all nice and straight and it covers that area. Now I need to run this through my bigger die machine because it's... Uh, Obviously not going to fit through that smaller one. So again, just making sure and just pop that there. So I'm just going to run that through my machine. Okay, and then again, just pop it all out. Get rid of any of the pieces there. And then you want the frame that's in here, which if it's got any pencil on, then you obviously just need to carefully rub that out. There we go. Yeah, I've got a little bit, but that's fine. Just remove that. Okay, so now we've got our frame and we've got this all ready. So that is gonna stick now perfectly. Okay, so sorry guys, my camera 
just obviously was full of memory so it stopped recording um, fortunately I've caught it before I've done too 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 much um, although I did stick it down I've just taken it back off so I got up to the point where I was just die cut that white piece so what you wanted to do then after that white piece is you need to cut yourself a piece of acetate so my acetate measures um, two and three quarters by four and then what you can see I've done here is you want to put your I'm using my red um, tape put the red tape so it hugs the outer edge of that acetate you can just see the tape through there and basically that just means you avoid it going over into your frame or whatever it is that you've got there and then you want to stick it into onto the back side okay so this is the front you want to stick it on the back then when you've done that get your white frame that you would have just die cut and just put a little bit of glue I still use this red thin tape because it was thin enough to go along here you don't need to cover the whole thing just a little bit there a little bit there at the top and at the bottom okay and then stick that back into its little place okay um, so that's all down there and then to make these curtains I die cut this size circle here if you've got something that's decorative that just adds to it because obviously they are meant to look like curtains and this is two and a half in diameter and what you want to do is just cut it cut kind of like a quarter off like so and then cut it in half just roughly okay and then you basically want to stick it together like that or do it that way either way you want to create that effect that covers the width of your window so you can see I'm just showing you below there you see how it will look so play around keep putting it underneath holding it in place flipping it over and you can see there where I've stuck it and just make sure you stick it in between those two score lines so don't worry about what it looks like on the back it could be all messy no one's going to see any of that it's the front okay it looks so cute and then I went ahead and I, well, I didn't go ahead I, I was just doing it but I've just stuck three of those paper flowers down like so all right, so sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I need to go and erase loads of videos because um, I just forget to do that. Okay, so then you want to run some double-sided tape along your side here and just take a little wedge off on the corner there. Now, before you stick it down, you may want to decorate some more inside, but on this part here. Now, again... <laughs> I was, did think I was recording, but although these are wedding themed paper cuts, there were two little birds up here, which are these two birds here. So I just went and cut them off. And all you do is you just cut the connecting little bits here. See these? Just trim them off. And then I have thought about having them. I remember um, there was a craze like it. Well, I wasn't obviously in the 1950s, but people would have three ducks um flying on their wall i'm going to have these two birds but i'm going to distress these um and i'm just deciding what color i think i might do a green or something just like a pop of color to kind of poke through so i'm going to go ahead and get them kind of distressed up okay so there you go i've got my two birds in green and what i'm going to do is i'm going to incorporate that same green and have little green leaves coming out of here just so it keeps it all together so i'm just going to just with a little bit of glue just tack them down just check they can obviously be seen through the window which they can you could have another little message on this piece if you wanted so but it's just these fun little details like so there you go and i'm going to just lift them a little bit up just so they look just gives a little bit i should have put them on foam actually doesn't matter there you go you can do that instead that looks cool so then I've got my backing here so just need to take that off okay and then just fold that one completely over and then this side here needs to line up with this this outer score line okay and just make sure it's flush with the top it'll probably grip a little bit onto your sticky tape on the side which mine has like so and then just let the side down and stick and then you can just push the whole thing flat and make sure it's all stuck down like so so now you just look through there you can see the two little green birds i'm going to have green here and some embellishments as well so now we need to decorate the front so let's get that stuck down 
along with our side pieces. So you'll have these two, which I think I've already run my tape along. I need to put some on here. Okay, so just put the whole thing flat just so it makes it easy to stick this down. But again, you should get a nice even border like so. And then this one. Like so, and then push it to the other side and you want to do that one. Open it up on that one. Okay, like that. So now we've got the sides, the front and that done. So I'm going to go and get some little leaves die cut. I'm also going to cut my other piece here for my sentiment. I think I'm going to stamp my sentiment in green. Okay, so I have die cut these from my own stash and then I've just coloured them in with the green which I used to colour in the birds inside so it all matches. I've put little pearl embellishments in the middle of my flowers there. Then I've done a matte and a layer on this side because I can still stamp that when I want to but I think I'm just going to leave it just to be able to write a message on. Um, and those measure, let me just tell you, um, I've not really that. So the blue one in my case is five and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then the white layer on top of that is five and three eighths by two and three eighths. OK, then on the front, obviously, that was already done. So that is everything there. Then I've done this little one here. So I've used the same color pa um, pattern paper that we got in the kit which is obviously the wallpaper. And then I just grabbed a blue piece of scrap, more of those red flowers from the kit. And then I decided I'm gonna, this is gonna be a, a home sweet home. So it's gonna be a, um, a new home card. Um, and yeah, just stamped that on a little disc and finished it all off the same. So that is gonna go lovely on the front there. Then you need your belly bands. This is three quarters of an inch by the A4 length, 11 inches will be fine. Yeah, three quarters of an inch. And just sit it over, make sure it's all just lined up there. And just bring it up and just kind of bend it around the sides there. Just pinching it. We're gonna trim this anyway, so you don't need to worry too, too much. Like so. And take it off and then you can just fold those like score lines a bit better there now there just stay in place like so and then we need to trim some of this so let's trim this one right back like that and then you want that one to sit over the top like so it doesn't have oh it doesn't have to then I'm just going to put some glue on that left hand side there and just sit that over the top okay and just make sure that it slides off nicely and then you can just make sure it's all stuck and then on that same piece where we've just joined just put another splodge of glue right in the middle and then you can get whatever it is that you're decorating just push the whole thing Boy, I can't fold it flat for some reason it's obviously not completely even but it's fine just sit that so it's nice and centered you've got even amount of the belly band underneath there Okay, and they've got a really cute little belly band. So now, again, just grab this and it will just sit over like so. And there, that looks really nice. And again, it all folds flat, so you can pop it in an envelope if you want. But I think they look really, really cute. So let me just take that off just to show you, again, a bit more detail. So you can see everything in there. You can see the little birds inside. Again, you can put anything you want in there. Um, you could have more sentiments and messages and stuff, but I just think it's really, really cute. So yeah, so that's using the dye from the January kit. These flowers and the papers were from um, this month's kit along with the birds, which were the paper cuts. So I've just kind of mixed it all up a little bit this time. And um, yeah, I hope you like this diorama card. So let's get that back on there again. There we go. So once again, if you are interested in joining the Hobby Base Club and receiving the monthly kit, all of that information is shared in the video description below. But otherwise, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's tutorial and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.